Well, I wouldn't say it's a conspiracy site by definition, because what it talks about is in plain sight pretty much every day. If you go out on a mostly sunny day, you'll see the white sheen around the sun, and the sun itself is white now. Um, perhaps you've noticed it, perhaps not. But there is a, a, a denial of facts from establishment, like the established power structure, saying that it's condensation and not whatever it is. Um, Geoengineering Watch has done independent peer-reviewed studies that you can find there that shows what is actually in it. These, he, he rented the flying lab what, like 10 years ago now. So who, who knows what's in it? Like they can, you know, they can change the, the recipe all the, all the time whenever they want. They can put bath salts in it if they want. But um, yeah, so I guess you could say it's, in a way it's a conspiracy and in a way it's not. Yeah, there's, there's like the official secrets, secrecy, which would lend to define it as a con conspiracy. Um, but the data's there. Yeah, go and check it out. He's been, doing, he's been trying to sound the alarm for 20 years, and I've recently tried to give him a, a lending hand in my, limit, my own limited way. And check out my climate engineering uh, playlist on YouTube. Happy I've got over 100 subscribers on YouTube now. I've been doing it in about six months, so pretty encouraging and discouraging at the same time. Yeah, if you have any questions about it, we'd be happy to answer you, or we can continue on with national propagandic about Mercury. It's actually be a pretty truthful, it seems. I think if, if a lot of people knew the truth about what was up there, they, they would just accept it anyway, so I'd just like to know what it is, so we know what we're dealing with. You know, have have the spray tested regularly to see if anything bad's going on, like viruses in it, or just how much aluminum, you know, every, they said they wanted 10 million tons a year. That's actually not that much. Like, the Earth produces more mercury than that. Um, from rock turning into gas every year. So, but uh, when, when mercury and aluminum get together, that's where some issues happen. And then also aluminum bonds with oxygen. So oxygen trying to reach the ozone layer is now perhaps being bonded to aluminum nanoparticles, which is furthering the destruction of the ozone layer that HARP is adding towards. I've never I've never heard him say anything anti-Semitic. Um, and I don't think that just because you say something bad about the Rothschilds you can that that you'll be labeled anti-Semitic. Uh, he's actually very vocal in saying that, you know, all religions have failed their pe the people, which I agree with. It's a conspiracy site, you mean they're exposing a conspiracy? I don't know. I don't, like I say, it is and it isn't a conspiracy because you can see it every day, and so in that way it's not a conspiracy, but there's a level of secrecy, so in that way it is a conspiracy. I mean, go, just go to my YouTube, watch, look, just look at the thumbnails of the first two on my climate engineering list, and then try to tell me that nothing's going on in our skies. Seriously, go, just go do that right now and, and get back to me. It, it is a common tactic, though, to say someone's an anti-Semite because they don't agree with my worldview. Also develop a beam. I'm Jewish, by the way.